Derek here with The Closet Doctor. I'm sending you guys a quick video of why I would like to speak at the Lean Summit in September. Uh, first reason I would like to speak, I think it's important to share uh, the knowledge that we have. Uh, I have many different opportunities to share in different organizations. I shared some stuff last year, I spoke last year at the Lean Summit. Um, as it was coming up to my turn, everybody that went before me last year, I realized that they were uh, they were super smart people and that they were at a level of lean that was way, way above where I was at. And so, uh, one, I learned a lot from them. Two, at the same time, when I finished and you know, what I had shared, I had a lot of those people come up to me and say, wow, I, I really appreciated this and, and this was a great idea. And so that sharing of information between people is very important. So I, I need to give back. I've learned from other people and I need to take the opportunity to share with other people. Uh, specifically, uh, I, I've been on a I say on and off lean, but all of my life I always always look for better ways to improve things. I'm a very competitive person, so I look how to improve processes and things like that. And we've been we've been working on lean here in our company for about five years. We struggle with it uh, up and down, like most people do, I, I, I'm sure. And it, I, I've I've focused on processes a lot. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a strong people person, and so I focus on process, and that's where we normally have our ups and downs, is we'll implement a process, and it'll go for a while, and then it fails out, and we don't, we don't get the buy-in. And, uh, you know, I've, I've read Paul's book, Two Second Lean, a bunch of times, and go through it regularly for notes, and he talks deeply about building a culture. And recently, I was able to go to Japan with Paul uh, on, on a tour along with Nick from Walters and Wolf and, and do the tour and is what I realized there what really stood out was how important the respect for people is in building that culture it's the it's the foundation and the basis of it and so been back three weeks from that we've been really we've been talking about that and working on that and how different things and attitudes and all of those things apply and uh, as I was <clears throat> riding on the bus in, in Japan I was discussing with a couple of people from Walters and Wolf, Walters and Wolf, some of the things we do for hiring to help that process to to speed up that process. Uh, and so, you know, we've come to some things, some employee testing, the way that we write ads, the things that we ask, uh, how, how people can respond, so we can get to know those. And I would like to share some of those things. So hiring, so that we can find, uh, we can we can speed up the way that we find good people to, to fill positions. I'm not an expert on that. Uh, I, I still struggle with that in a, a small business in a small market. And then finding employees is tough. But we've reduced the, we have reduced the amount of time and people that we interview to uh, to make it make it simpler and eliminate help us eliminate those people that don't qualify. And we've we've done that through some employee testing, the way we write ads, what we ask them to do uh, to qualify to get an interview, and things like that. And so I think that would be great stuff for people to uh, to share and know. And uh, I've got some other things that uh, I'd like to tie into that. And so I'd love to have the opportunity to to share that. If you guys have any follow up questions, um, please contact me. You can email me or call me. But I uh, look forward to seeing everybody in St. Louis uh, in September.